On the evening of December 3rd, Ted Hui, a former Hong Kong legislative counselor who is now in Denmark, announced on Facebook that he would go into exile, quit the Hong Kong Democratic Party, and temporarily leave Hong Kong, making him the second former Hong Kong legislator to go into exile. On December 3rd, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo expressed his support for Joshua Wong and four others who were arrested, saying that the United States is appalled by the persecution. The Chinese Communist Party's greatest fear is the free speech and free thinking of its own people. Ted Hui, Hong Kong Democratic Party's Central and Western District Councilor and a former legislative councilor, attended a local environmental protection conference in Copenhagen, Denmark on November 30th. It's reported that Hui's parents, wife, and two young children left Hong Kong by plane on Tuesday. On the evening of December 3rd, Hui announced on Facebook that he would go into exile, quit the Hong Kong Democratic Party, and temporarily leave Hong Kong. But he stressed that exile is not immigration. He promised to return home when Hong Kong recovers and meet everyone under the Legislative Council complex for a tearful reunion. Former legislator Te Hui, who is now in Denmark, has confirmed that he would go into exile in Europe, but did not specify a country. The destruction of Hong Kong, the Pearl of the Orient, has accelerated. In the face of international condemnation, the CCP and the Hong Kong government have continued to use tough tactics against those who oppose the government. Many protesters have been arrested. Former members of Demosisto, the dissolved pro-democracy political organization led by Joshua Wong, Agnes Chow, and Ivan Lam, were sentenced to prison on Tuesday. Agnes will spend her 24th birthday in prison on December 3rd. She published an open letter on that day, which contained only 739 heartfelt words, but moved many people. Agnes said, don't give up, we are all here. Now, those three democracy activists are going to prison. Joshua Wong sentenced to 13 and a half months, Ivan Lam sentenced to seven, Agnes Chow sentenced to 10, and Thursday is her 24th birthday. On December 3rd, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo released a statement denouncing the Hong Kong government's political persecution of Hong Kong's courageous pro-democracy advocates. He stressed that the United States will continue to work with our allies and partners around the world to champion the rights and freedoms of the people of Hong Kong and all those who suffer under the CCP's repressive rule. We stand with Joshua Wong, Agnes Chow, Ivan Lam, Jimmy Lai, the people of Hong Kong, and all the people of China. Japanese government spokesperson and chief cabinet secretary, Katsunobo Kato, also expressed deep concern about the sentencing in Hong Kong at a press conference on Wednesday. Japan increasingly has grave concerns about the recent Hong Kong situation, such as sentencing against three, including Agnes Chow. We have conveyed our concerns to China about Hong Kong at various opportunities. Meanwhile, EU ambassadors on December 2nd agreed to set up a European Magnitsky Act to punish human rights violators. The main means of sanctions include asset freezes and visa bans. In June, Demosisto launched a joint petition urging the EU to speed up legislation. The European Union also hopes the sanctions will strengthen its ability to defend human rights when facing countries like China, Russia, and Iran.